Hello everyone, this is Thunder Collector here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Thor Love and Thunder Ravager Thor. So let's cover the packaging here, so we get the Marvel Legends logo here on top. Thor Love and Thunder logo here in the bottom. Uh, Ravager Thor, and here's the side art of Ravager Thor there. Here is the back with Thor right there with his axe, uh, with his new clothing. Ravager Thor, here's the description if you want to read that. We get the Marvel Legends logo here on the corner here. And for this build of figure away, we are building Korg. Uh, so we got the armored Thor with the golden blue armor. We got Jane Foster Thor. We got Gore the God Butcher Valkyrie. Um, Ranger Thor, which we, is what we're doing right now. Star Lord and uh, Teenage Group. And then we got another picture of that uh, side art there. Here is Top with the Broken Hammer emblem there. And then here is the bomb with the DCPA. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Ravager Thor out of the packaging. So first, let's go over the accessories. So first, we got uh, Korg's left arm, which we'll go into, uh, go over once we build them. And then here we got Stormbreaker here. So we got this nice, like, gunmetal silver going on here. We get a little bit of a darker silver in the inner part here. And then we got, like, the gray uh, for the detailing. So it's pretty nice to get to that a uh, bit more detail on this thing. Uh, and then we got the Groot arm that was made for the handle. Uh, I don't like this version of it. I prefer the uh, Infinity War Stormbreaker because I feel like it's more sturdier. Because this one just feels like it's going to like snap at some point. Like you can bend it and stuff. Um, although we do have... I will Basically I have three Stormbreakers now because I do have the other Thor figure in the back. Um, and then the build the figure Thor from Endgame. But not the biggest fans of... Not the biggest fan of this one though. I prefer the Infinity War Thor uh, Stormbreaker. So, yeah. Uh, and then that's all we got for accessories. So, here is Thor up close. Here is his head sculpt. It looks pretty damn, like, perfect to Chris Hemsworth uh, face. And the hair looks amazing on it. You get, like, this blonde look, dirty, dirty blonde. So, you get that nice wash over it to give it some more detailing there. And get that, like, uh, tied up hair in the back so it doesn't get in his face. So, nailed it. You get the blue eyes. Um, I think his eye for the scar, I thought it was brown at one point. It doesn't look like they added the scar on his face, but it's not that big of a deal. And then you get the leather vest that he wears in the trailer. So, it's all red. Uh, it's like Star Lord type of style. And you get the black leather on the collar areas, some on the shoulder. Uh, you also get some, like, silver in there to get it re resemble like buttons i guess you get some gold for the buttons too get some gold uh black for the pockets for the chest and uh in the side area you get some trimming texturing there and you get some like texturing but i think it's also painted silver in the back there so that's pretty cool and then you get this really cool shirt i don't know what's supposed to be but you get the nice red you get the blue over it to give it that like I guess worn uh, tank top. <coughs> tank top. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but you get that really cool design that he wears in the movie. And this shirt is actually textured, like it, like it has the sculpted lines for like a um, tank uh, tank top. So, and you get the brown belt here, leather belt with this gold uh, buckle here with that really cool design. So that's pretty cool. And you get the blue pants or jeans, whatever you want to call them. I do wish they kind of just did like a quick light wash of it just to give it that denim look. But I don't know if he had that look in the trailer or not. So I'll have to look again. But yeah, and you get his boots. They're brown. But then you get these like uh, yellow ochre bands. I don't know what, you, what color this would be. It's gold or yellow. I don't know. Puke. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, and that's all we really got for the looks. And then we got the sleeveless uh, arms here. Uh, pinless joints, by the way, for both the knees and the elbows. So that's pretty cool. And then that's all we got for the looks. So let's go over the articulation. So his head can, he has a double ball jointed head. So you can look down just that far. Up now a whole lot. The hair gets in the way. Left and right movement. Some head pivoting there. Shoulders move out that far. 360 rotation there. Biceps will 
double jointed elbows. And then wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. He has a app crunch that goes down that far, backwards now a whole lot, the vest kind of gets in the way. Waist swivel, 360 rotation. Legs kick out that far, forward, that far, backwards just a little bit. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Basically you could do a butt kick. Uh, there is new boot, no boot cut. Ankles uh, hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that is Ravenger Thor for you. I really like this figure. The articulation is pretty good on this figure, besides the head, but you know, the hair is in the way. Um, and the pinless joints makes everything look cleaner, I think. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about this figure, or it's not even the figure, to be honest, it's Stormbreaker. I don't like the, I don't like this version of Stormbreaker. I like the one from the Infinity War because the handle feels more sturdier, I, although it is thicker, but you know, I feel like that's way better than this. At least I have three of them. So like, because I got this Thor in the back here and then the build a figure Thor from Endgame, the fat Thor build a figure. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love the figure. The figure is awesome. Just the, the Stormbreaker I don't like, but I like how they added the detail on the Stormbreaker. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I, they nailed the head sculpt. The clothing is right on point to what, the, uh, what it had on the trailer. Uh, so yeah, and that's all I really got with this figure. Uh, if you guys want to check out my link tree in the description, it has my TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram. Uh, I do post uh, reviews on my TikTok, which are a little more sped up. It gets right to the point if you want to check that out. But besides that, thanks for watching.